In this video, we're doing another key comic book spotlight, this time on Natasha Romanoff, The Black Widow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swigel Haas. And in this video, we're doing another key comic book spotlight, this time on The Black Widow. Now, if you're new to this series or my channel, what I typically do with key comic book spotlight is pick a notable superhero or supervillain and point out five key and or grail comic books that the comic book collecting community often pursues when they're fans of this character. So in this video, we're going to do Black Widow. But before I get into the picks for today, if you guys could drop me a like or a comment or a subscribe, if you're enjoying the content, help support the channel, do one of those things, I would appreciate it. Also some other housekeeping news. Uh, I am still currently doing my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. At the time of the recording of this video, we are at the 4950 mark, so just 50 subscribers away. So be sure to uh, navigate over to my 5k giveaway video, subscribe to the channel if you want a chance to win uh, one of the books. So would appreciate it if you did that. All right, that said, let us get into the key comic book spotlight here today. And again, like I always mention with all of these videos and all of the series and every time I do this, uh, it's always extremely hard to narrow it down to five books. Uh, Black Widow is such a great character and you know she has become like super, super notable, especially in these recent years. But uh, you know, and for that reason, there's a ton of great comic books to collect uh, for her if you're a fan of her as a character. And when the anticipation of the Black Widow film, uh, a lot of books have been uh, very, very very popular and, and noted as keys within respect to her, you know, Marvel history recently. So uh, there's a lot of cool books books to pick from, but I definitely feel like I got five good books here today. So let us get into my first pick. And my first pick, of course, is going to be Tales of Suspense number 52. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is the first appearance of of the Black Widow. There you see her right there on the cover. Now, this was a book that came out in 1964, Tales of Suspense. Of course, everyone knows Tales of Suspense 39, which is the first appearance of Iron Man. This would go on to be the book that Iron Man would have his popular storyline run through. But in Tales of Suspense number 52, they would introduce, uh, as you see there on the cover, the gorgeous new menace of the Black Widow. This would be her first appearance, Natasha Romanoff. And she would go on to make many appearances in the Tales of Suspense run, uh, interacting with Iron Man. And for that reason, I thought that I that was actually really cool that when we got Scarlett Johansson's rendition of the Black Widow within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we actually did see her introduction in Iron Man 2. So I thought that was really, really cool that they were able to sort of bridge her entrance into the, the movies uh, in the same way that the comic books did through the character of Iron Man. So Tales of Suspense, number 52, her first appearance, the ultimate grail when it comes to wanting to own a collector comic book as it pertains to the Black Widow character. And you know, with the anticipation of the movie that is uh, set to come out, you know, in a couple months time, this book has definitely, definitely really shot up. And as we dig into the numbers, you guys will be able to tell here. We see here a 9.6. There was one on the census that has sold fair market value $145,000. It's a six figure book. Definitely, definitely crazy. Sorry about that phone call. Uh, it is definitely a six figure book. And uh, you can see that there was a sale back in May of 2018. So definitely high prices up there at the high end. But if you go on here on the low end, you'll see Go Collect has the fair market value hovering around that $400, $300, $200 range, depending on you know what grade we're talking about here. But this is one of those books because of the excitement of the movie. You know, If you go onto eBay, you're gonna find this book priced around that $500, $600 range. So definitely not a cheap book to come by, but a great, great, great comic book, great grail, great key if you are a fan of the Black Widow character. All right, let's move on now to my next book here. My next book is a really cool one. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 86. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is actually an early Silver Age Spider-Man that would actually include the first rendition of the Black Widow origin story. So you can see here right there, uh, she's in silhouette in the, in the background uh, projected on uh, Spider-Man. And you'll probably have noticed that in her Tales of Suspense run, she was kind of wearing like more of a damsel in distress outfit. So in this particular comic book here, they would kind of redesign her to have that sort of fitted Black Widow uh, outfit aesthetic. And then this book would kind of dip into her origin story. And for that reason, I think that this is a really, really underrated, awesome Black Widow comic book to own, especially for, since it's in an amazing Spider-Man run. You know, uh, anytime you get a sub 100 Spider-Man book in the Silver Age, it's always, always going to be a great book to own regardless. And this one is really, really special because uh, you have it right there. She's, there. she's kind of got that dynamic silhouette, ominous figure on the cover, beware the the Black Widow. Uh, definitely, definitely a really cool book and a, a great, great collector item, you know, if you want to own her origin story. And as we dig into the numbers here, you'll see on the, the census, there is a 9.8 fair market value around the $4,800 range. And then if you go to the bottom, uh, you may not see too many CGCs overall, 
But typically speaking, uh, when I go into eBay, this is a book that uh, maybe in low grade form, you know, sells around that $70, $75 range. So, uh, fairly affordable if you want to get your hands on a great Black Widow book, uh, especially in comparison to Tales of Suspense 52. We're going to continue to talk about key Black Widow comic books in a second, but before we do, let's take a minute to talk about Key Collector App. What is Key Collector App? Well, Key Collector App is an app that allows you to find hot and key comic books just in the palm of your hand. So let's say you see this video and you already own all five of these Black Widow books and you want to do more research to find out other Black Widow books that you can own. Well, you can open up Key Collector and search Black Widow and Key Collector would inform you of other great great key comic books that you can have for that character. And the best part about Key Collector app is that it's actually free to use, but there is a premium subscription service. And if you use my promo code SWAGGLEHOSS, which you see there on the screen right now, uh, you will actually get two weeks for free to the service, which gives you access to hot keys, spec books, and dollar bin dives that you may want to know about when you're out there hunting. So definitely check out Key Collector app. Use my promo code SWAGGLEHOSS. Highly recommend. All right, let's move on now to the third book here I have. And the third book I have is Amazing Adventure the Inhumans and the Black Widow number one. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is actually the first solo story of the Black Widow. You can see there on the lower right corner, you see her there on the cover. So this would be uh, Amazing Adventures would go on to kind of be like a uh, an ensemble book. You know, they, they do different storylines, you know, some for beasts, some for the Inhumans. And in this particular book, they would do one on the Black Widow. So this would be known as her first solo story in comic books. Also, this is the first time you see her in her iconic costume on the cover. So, you know, if you're out there and you really love like uh, books for their covers, uh, as far as the Black Widow character is concerned, this is the very first time you're going to see her in her iconic outfit right there on the cover. So Amazing Adventures, uh, The Inhumans and Black Widow number one. Very, very, very cool book. Uh, on top of that, uh, although she does share the title in name, The Inhumans and the Black Widow, this is also the first time you're going to see Black Widow in the title. I mean, not to be confused with the other, you know, books I had recently just showed where you have like a footnotes that say Black Widow, but this is that first time you're going to see Black Widow, Widow right up there in the title. And for that reason, to me, this is a very, very, very cool book, uh, a great grail and great key for her as a character if you are a fan. And as we dig into the numbers here, we'll see there is a 9.8 that sold on census, uh, fair market value of $700, but that was back in 2020. Uh, and if you go down here to the bottom, you're not going to see too many CGCs. But when I do go onto eBay, I typically see this book hovering around that 40 50 60 range depending on the grade and depending on what kind of deal uh, you can find for yourself so amazing adventures number one the inhumans and black widow is my third pick all right, let's move on now to my fourth pick. And the fourth pick is actually going to be Avengers 111. And this is, what is the significance of this? Well, this is actually the first time that the Black Widow joins the Avengers. Now, uh, in the you know, Marvel Cinematic Universe, we saw uh, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow play a pivotal role in the Avengers uh, team, especially in when we got to Infinity War and Endgame. I felt like her character really, really shined. She almost became like, you know, the, the, the heart and soul of the Avengers team, especially in the Endgame movie. Movie. And for that reason, I felt like Avengers 111 is a significant book to her uh, uh, store, historic run within Marvel Comics because this is the this is the book where she would join the Avengers team. So uh, I think that this is a really cool book to own. And there you see it's a great another great dynamic cover. Uh, you also have that Magneto appearance, which is really really cool to see. Anytime you have uh, Avengers fighting uh, A tier villains, it's always going to be a very 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 cool book to get your hands on. And for that reason, uh, being that this is the, the first time that the Black Widow joins the Avengers team, I think that this is a great pick. And as we dig into the numbers here, we will see uh, a 9.8 selling fair market value for $750 back in August of 2020. And if you go on here to the low end, you're not going to see too many CGCs. But uh, when I go onto eBay, this is another book that typically speaking, I see hovering around that you know, $30, $40, $50, 60 range, depending on the grade and depending on the deal. But uh, regardless, I think this is an awesome book, Avengers 111. Uh, uh, Black Widow joins the Avengers team for the very first time. All right, let's move on now to my last pick. And my last pick is going to be Black Widow number one, written by Devin Grayson in 1999. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is actually the first miniseries for the Black Widow character. Now, we have seen, you know, other renditions, right? In Amazing Adventures, number one, she got her first solo series or solo story, I should say. Uh, and then, you know, we did see her in the title. There's been appearances where she did a duo with uh, Daredevil and she had many books there where she, her name was a part of the title. 
Widow. But this was actually the first time that Black Widow kind of got her own comic book, so to speak, where you would see her name right there on the title. This was all about her. And this was a really, really cool book because this kind of, you know, solidified more of her origin story. This was like kind of a, a new era of comic book, kind of sort of reinventing the character a little bit or modernizing it. And, for, and this is the book that I feel like the MCU has really referenced the most, at least in terms of like the archetype of her character and what she represents and her background and her history. This is the one that I feel like has kind of redefined uh, who the Black Widow character is. Not to mention that, this is also uh, considered the first full appearance of Yelena Belova, who, for those who don't know, in the next Black Widow movie, we have Florence Pugh that is going to play this character, uh, Black Widow's sister. So uh, this is a very, very cool, significant book, uh, not just for the fact that it is, you know, Black Widow's first solo kind of uh, limited series, but it also contains that bonus, which, which is a first appearance of the Yelena character. Not to mention that, this is also the first mention of the Red Room. Of course, the Red Room has become synonymous with Black Widow's history, especially in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, you know, the, the, having to go through the KGB and growing up and having the history that she does. So this really right here to me, uh, if you are a fan of kind of the modern current rendition of the Black Widow character, this is the book for you because this is the book that kind of uh, really solidifies uh, her current character. And on top of that, I just think this, this is an incredible cover. I mean, what a what a beautiful drawn uh, uh, cover that this has. Amazing lighting, amazing color, uh, incredible, incredible uh, blocking in, in terms of the dynamic of the pose. I love that like, you know, there's kind of this, this background that kind of has like her war-torn past behind her. And so for that reason, uh, this is definitely my fifth pick as it pertains to the Black Widow character. And as we dig into the numbers here, we'll see there is a 9.8 that sold on the census, you know, May of 2021, fair market value around the $180 range. And at the bottom, you know, because it's a newer book, you're not going to find too many CGCs. But when I do go into eBay, this is a book that has tend to heat it up a little bit recently. Uh, we're talking about, you know, books selling around that $40, $50 range, maybe the $60 range if, if, if someone claims that it's going to be a, a new mint uh, book. But Regardless, Black Widow number one, and a, a great key comic book to have if you're a fan of Natasha Romanoff, The Black Widow, and a great book to own. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. Those are my five key and comic spotlight picks for Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any of these books? Uh, what other books are you fans of when you uh, are collecting for the Black Widow character? Uh, can't wait to see her movie. Uh, anyways, that is all I have for this video. Drop me a like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and I will see you in the next one.